Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to the round four of Tata Steel 2020. This time, however, I'm not gonna show you the game from round four. We had the seven draws. Some of them were more or less interesting. However, what was interesting in the game, another game from round three, where Pentala Hare Krishna with the black pieces played the French defense. And as you already know, um, I play French defense uh, of, by myself and uh, I am very often uh, happy if I see new ideas which I can implement in my games. So without further ado, let's see the game against Nils Grandelius, uh, who open, of course, with the e4. We have e6, d4, d5, and here uh, Pantala Hare Krishna plays a French defense from time to time. If this was the surprise for Nils Grandelius, usually he goes for knight d2. However, against Pantala, uh, he believed that maybe Hare Krishna uh, actually prepare something against that uh, so knight c3 it can be very very complicated a lot of ideas of after knight c3 and Pentala Hare Krishna knows a lot of uh, interesting uh, continuations so he went for e5 because what can go wrong if you go for the advanced variation? This is pretty much safe. Uh, black have to be very, very careful. Uh, so we have e5. We have c5, pretty much standard, c3. And now not knight c6, but queen b6 first. So this is the first uh, a little detail which was changed uh, compared to the, to the main line. We have knight f3, nothing fancy. And of course, after knight c6, we would um, go to the main line line however we have another interesting idea this knight is waiting so we have bishop d7 now what is the idea the idea is a, is a pretty simple idea the bishop is going to go to b5 once the bishop uh, light square bishop is moved so uh black just gonna wait and i show you already ver the variation um just promoted or maybe invented by the armenian grandmasters uh, petrosian played that vaganian played that very often where we had the b6 b6 with the idea of bishop a6 and exchanging the light square bishop exchanging the light square bishop is the one of the main ideas in some of these advanced French defense ideas with e5. So so this always you have to be aware. And if you play that yourself the, with the black pieces, you can actually try to exchange the light square bishop. And uh, very often it's possible. So what are possible answers for white? Um, a3, very typical uh, in the French defense. Uh, bishop d3, moving the bishop on this diagonal. This is, of course, also possible. Knight a3, very typical for the French defense. Even queen b3 uh, and trying to exchange the, the, the queens. This is also possible. Uh, however, in our game we have bishop e2 and now uh, immediately c takes on d4, c takes on d4 and bishop b5 saying, okay, we're gonna exchange the light square bishop. We have the castle by Nil Nils Grandelius. We exchange the light square bishops and now it looks like this pawn uh, is, is the base of this little um, the pawn chain. So it should be attacked and indeed knight c6 was played now. Uh, and here we have knight c3. So Nils Grandelius doesn't uh, actually uh, defend the pawn on d4. Why? Uh, did he blunder the pawn? Actually not. This pawn cannot be taken because once it's taken, the problem is that the queen is coming to b5 with the check and you don't have the pieces to block that attack and you are in the huge, huge troubles. Queen b7, your rook is under attack. You have to move the rook. Now rook d1, you attack the queen. If the queen goes, for example, to b6, uh, then the queen gonna take on f7 and so on. White is completely winning. If black tries to take this pawn, um, then of course knight d5, uh, the, the knight cannot be taken because the, the queen would be lost and so on. So completely lost game. So the first very nice trap by uh, Nils Grandelius uh, and now we have knight g to e7. Also very very typical move in these structures. What black want to do is play h5 and then bring the knight to f5 and put a lot of pressure to the central pawn. That's the main idea. But we have queen d3. Very very sneaky move. Uh, now we have rook c8 and now a continuation of this sneaky move. We have one game in the data 
database where bishop g5 was played. So this is very, very typical, but we have rook d1. Now, what is the idea? As this is new move in the position, uh, definitely Pentala Hare Krishna had to think a bit uh, what, what, what can be the idea. Now, the point is that if we continue with this very typical plan and bring the knight to f5, it doesn't work because after bishop g5, this queen is a very, very sneaky queen and it's guarded by this very nice tactic, knight d5, boom, and black um, are gonna lose the pawn. Um, so for example, knight e5, queen f5, and yeah, black are in the huge, huge troubles. The queen pointing at the rook, um, the bishop is already very, very dangerous here. So definitely we cannot go for this plan. Pantala Hare Krishna went for h6, so now the bishop cannot be developed to g5, and this is why we have bishop d2, and now we have knight g6. We have also h4, trying to, uh, in the next move, kick the knight back. Uh, we have bishop b4, and here Nils Grandelius doesn't want to uh, lose his knight. His knight in the close position is a very valuable piece, so he played knight a4, attacking the queen, queen c7, and only now h5. So it looks like Pentala Hare Krishna has to retreat, and this is how you play the French defense very often. Uh, you just have to retreat, you have uh, less space, so it's a, it's a very difficult opening. Uh, but now this, according to the Printala Hare, Hare Krishna, it's the critical moment of the game. Until now, Nils Grandelius played very, very safe and he was the leader, uh, the sole leader after round two, after two one games. Uh, and what he should play is simply bishop f4, exchange these dark square bishops. Uh, white have the pawns on the dark squares. Why not to exchange? What could happen? Let's say knight b4, uh, the queen is under attack. Let's say queen d2, knight is under attack, so knight have to retreat. Um, and then after, let's say rook a to c1, very natural moves, maybe b6, the knight cannot jump to c5, uh, have to go back to, to, to c3. Uh, and then probably queen d7. That would be very, very sneaky move uh, because the game, of course, can continue from here, but queen d7 is a very, very sneaky because now white doesn't uh, have the move knight b5. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty simple plan, you know. You want to jump to the to the d6. There are no uh, dark square bishop. This knights and uh, cannot help this this uh, this square yet too much. Maybe with the with the knight f5, but but g4 uh, can actually kick the knight. So so that's not the idea. But knight b5 cannot be played. Can you spot why? Um, the point is that knight e5 is a move here, okay? Uh, and the, the knight is under attack. So even if you uh, take with the knight, very active move, uh, then you are in the troubles. And uh, anyhow, uh, black has one extra pawn. Of course, rook c1 and after castle, uh, white still have some moves like, like rook c7 and uh, maybe even winning that pawn. However, black also can activate the knight to the very, very nice outpost and, and have very, very active game. So th this would be you know a uh, pretty 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 possible way of playing uh, of course without this knight b5 it's just not necessary however we have bishop f4 and pentala Hare krishna said that this is the critical moment uh, of the game and nils grandelius is going to get the worst position now if you check the engine the engine says uh, nothing about that move this is why it's good to actually listen to uh, super grandmasters what they uh, think about the game and we can learn much more of that uh, if we you know do it only with the with the engine we understand nothing would just happen there are of course some engine lines where you can survive this however this is pretty simple now pentala Hare krishna queen a5 attacking the knight so we have b3 defending b5 attacking the knight Knight b2, bishop a3, this was pretty much forced. Uh, the knight is under attack, have to make a space for this knight. So we have a queen e2 defending, also making some space for the knight. Uh, and now simply castle. Black has a time uh, to actually improve the position. 
And here Nils Grandelius could go for attacking possibilities, you know, G4, G5, it looks like very, very attractive continuation. However, he set up another trap and it's, a, it's a also very sneaky, of course, against H Pentala Hare Krishna, uh, it's probably he not gonna fall into that. Um, rook A to B1, it looks like pretty much normal move, overprotecting the knight, maybe the queen gonna go somewhere, but the plan is quite deeper. We have Rook C7, Pentala just, you know, want to double the rooks uh, and now another move knight d3 so first he actually uh, goes to protect the the knight and now he moves the knight it doesn't make any sense red light probably appeared somewhere in pentala Hare krishna head uh, and he started to think and indeed there is the there is the trap this pawn can move to b4 with the attack on the queen and then the the rook gonna win the bishop so so pretty sneaky nils grandelius a pretty sneaky grandmaster queen b6 making a space for the for the pawn and we have b4 as planned it looks like okay this pawn can be taken but because of this trap it cannot be taken knight d4 knight d4 queen before and we're gonna have first bishop e3 as the as it was under attack uh, and the knight is is, is needed here uh, so queen c4 and only then rook b3 winning the bishop okay so this is the pretty much straightforward this is why we have a5 pentala Hare krishna found the best continuation b takes on a5 uh, and now knight a5 so the knight at the end want to get to the very nice outpost on the on the c4 uh wet where it cannot of course uh, be taken over there if it's taken the, then black gonna have very beautiful beautiful past pawn and protected past pawn we have bishop c1 now trying to exchange the dark square bishop but now it's too late pentala said okay my plan is simple what i want to do is exchange all possible pieces get your pawn on a2 and uh, and yeah and win the game so this is the plan bishop c1 we have rook d2 c1 rook c1 knight c1 uh, we have knight c4 as planned and now knight b3 uh, so also want to get to the c5, a very nice outpost, we have rook a5, first we have rook c1 and now we have knight c6, so what Pentala is doing is a pretty, pretty simple stuff, he just want to bring another piece and attack the pawn on a2, uh, the plan is simple, g3, Nils Grandelius doesn't do anything about that, he actually cannot do anything, if he move the, the pawn on a3, he gonna lose it, uh, to a4, he gonna lose it, so doesn't make any, any sense, um, we have rook a3 completely blocking the pawn now, making a space for the queen behind, and uh, making the battery so we have king g2 queen a7 uh, rook c2 defending and now of course knight b4 this pawn is under attack three times uh, also the rook is under attack so first we save the rook we have rook c3 and now simply win the pawn it looks like very logical very easy uh but imagine you play that against super grandmasters and and it looks so easy that's just incredible um we have rook d3 and now uh, what pantala Hare krishna want to do is exchange as many pieces as possible you can actually pause the video right now and um, find the way to exchange uh, the knights and the rook so very simple plan I, I don't show you like wow this is the winning continuation with the checkmate but this is the simple motive we can find here while I enjoy my cup of tea okay ready so uh, the the continuation is simply rook b3. It looks like okay uh, exchange, but of course we're gonna get the exchange uh, later. So we have queen c2, knight b3, queen b3, and now queen a4. Uh, we have also queen b1 and now b4. And in this position, Nils Grandelius resigned. Now why did he resign? He resigned because um, this pawn gonna get to the a2, the queen gonna come to a1 uh, and win the game. What can a tr white try? is knight g1 and try to bring the knight maybe but it doesn't work let's say b3 knight e2 queen a2 and now would you like to exchange the queens or not of course you cannot exchange this way uh, if you play something like queen d3 let's say avoid then we're gonna have simply b2 knight c3 knight taking under control a b1 which looks like the most logical but now simply queen a3 and in the next move uh, the knight gonna be taken 
and uh, and of course black gonna have extra knight and it's winning game if we have knight c3 immediately let's say exchange the queen so the queen cannot support the pawn it's also winning because after queen b1 knight b1 b2 uh, everything what white uh, have to do is actually uh, bring the king here uh, exchange the knight for the for the knight and the and the pawn and maybe draw that game however black has a lot of time to bring the king uh to the game uh, and it's just too slow let's say king e7 now king d3 king d7 king c2 uh, knight c3 um and now of course knight c3 king b6 ah uh, king b5 cannot be played uh, and after knight d1 finally white can win the pawn so that's quite a time and the king already uh, came uh, all the way to b5 and after knight b5 uh, of course this king gonna win the pawn on d4 and other pawns and also win the game so this is why after b4 nils grandelius resigned and i would like to show you the the standings after round four we have had Pentala Hare Krishna, Magnus Carlsen, Fabiano Caruana, Anish Giri, and Nils Grandelius with, with two and a half points. Uh, and also Jordan Van Forest, uh, Andrei Jesipienko, Maxim Vashel Lagraf, Alireza Firuzia, and Radek Wojtaszek, uh, two points out of four. Jan Krzysztof Duda, Arian Tari, and David Anton, one and a half. And even Alexander and Donchenko, who is the, the last, uh, still have one point, only one and a half point behind the leader so a uh, pretty exciting tournament if you like it press like if for some reason you don't like it press unlike and if you don't want to miss other games from tata steel chess tournament 2021 press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one